All right, guys, got Midwest Cam back at it again. And uh, today we are trying something from the Science Madness Farms. Um, most people are doing the proto catechuic aldehyde synthesis by demethylation of vanillin. But uh, today we're going to show that you can actually deethylate um, ethyl vanillin with conch H2SO4. Uh, I tested this on a smaller steel, and uh, it's nice. Let's just look for yourself. Here we go. Got conch H2SO4, and then a little bit of ethyl vanillin. Look at that color. Mmm. Mmm. So it turns a green color. Kind of like a neon green, followed by uh, more of a yellow color, and then eventually it will go very dark. And that particular color change kind of happens rapidly. Now we've got about 40 milliliters um, instead of what was it, 80 milliliters, I believe. Um, you really don't need all that. I'm trying to conserve on some of my H2SO4 since it is 98% stuff. But you just basically add this. I don't believe there's any uh, huge exotherm, but we're going to heat it to 70C for four hours. And it will all dissolve. We're we getting our first signs of a little bit more of color change. I'm doing about 20 grams ethyl vanillin, and uh, it's just to work on a seeable scale. Since I don't have the best uh, production quality on the planet, here I want things to be pretty noticeable. Everything will dissolve. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and I'm gonna go grab a thermometer and I shall return. Everything's virtually dissolved, and uh, we got a syrupy, dangerous liquid. It's possible this is gas generation. Ethylene, maybe? No idea.
garage number three. Almost nothing pulled in. A single wash with water. Put a lot of color in. Cool, so you might be able to see right there. Can I see better? It's really hard to see the red color. Kind of see it there. Uh, but what we have here is way too much magnesium sulfur. Uh, but as you can tell, it is free floating. Uh, the excess will help. Um, the process calls for evaporating this down to two or three mils and leaving it out. Uh, or uh, I'm sorry, that's on a one gram scale, so, 20. so probably uh, 40 to 60. I'm not really sure I'd let air get to it for that long, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Nonetheless, here we go. Crude product. Here we go guys, the final result. Protocatechuic aldehyde. This is the final product. Uh, I'm gonna have to dry it out a little bit, get a weight, because it is 150% of what it started. I'm gonna assume that's a big fat uh, false. It's still got water in it. Uh, this is the mother liquor, and uh, we'll see how this comes up. All right y'all, we're back. And what I've got here is, uh, let's see, so we're already off to not a good start. Uh, let's see where we're at down here. We're at about 140-ish down there. Let's drop this down a little bit. I would like to see where this goes. Now we've obviously got a lot of water, so that's going to have to go. I'm going to say a huge portion of this is probably vanillin. It's not looking good. Now, what also may be happening is there may be so much water in it that the internal water is actually dissolving uh, everything. So we're forming a brown solution, which is what uh, this product particularly has done. And I'm seeing little bits of uh, condensate on the side. Let us see where this goes, because this is prematurely uh, melting for vanillin, or ethyl vanillin, and uh, uh, protocatechuic aldehyde also.
Alright y'all, this is the product, proto catechuic aldehyde, and we're looking at a 50-60% to 60 yield with this reaction. Uh, myself, it's not dried all the way, but I would like to get this video out. It's my uh, thalamide label. It's actually proto catechuic aldehyde, sorry. Uh, big shout out to Backyard Science 2000. That's where I got this from. Um, not the protocytic aldehyde, but the thalamide I did. Uh, that man is freaking awesome. So generous. Takes care of his customers. Shout out Backyard Science 2000. You're awesome, bro. Um, basically, a majority of the hard-to-find reagents, like 99% of them that I own, um, all come from him. Um, I've been a customer of his for a while. And if you're loyal, he'll take care of you. Even if you're not loyal, I mean, he'll still take care of you. But, I mean, he really takes care of you if you're a loyal customer. So, shout out, man. Thanks for everything you do, bro. You're absolutely awesome. So, um, this has been Midwest Kim. And this is the proto catechuic aldehyde synthesis. Thank you for watching. Please like, sub, share, anything you do. Or just watch it and enjoy. We're here to learn. Have a good day.